Hey guys, my name is Alex. Welcome to APG News. Today is January 26, 2024. And you know what that means? That we're going to do the news of the week. So let's begin with Riot Games. You know, Riot Games, the developer behind huge games like League of Legends, Valorant, has been reducing its global workforce by 11%. And this is them joining the trend of a bunch of major tech companies that are downsizing. Riot Games is owned by the Chinese tech giant Tencent, which we all know is bad. They delivered this news on Monday, describing the elimination of 530 roles as a critical thing for the future of Riot. In a memo to employees, the company attributed this move to rising costs and unsuccessful major events. The CEO Dylan Jedaja whatever his name, stated, this is what he said. We have to do more to focus our business and center our efforts on the things that drive the most player value. These things that are truly worth players' time. This is absolutely the last thing we have ever wanted to do. So I never understand why tech companies do this. It says right here in the report and everything that this is the CEO's, you know, the higher ups mistake. They ventured into stuff that they thought they were going to get a big payoff it didn't work out so just because the big guy up top screwed up he mean that means that everyone below is getting screwed over and eliminated if you ask me we all have to take examples from the president of nintendo when the wii u was failing that guy took a took a salary cut more than once just to, you know, make it ends meet over at Nintendo and so nobody is ever affected and nobody got fired over the Wii U being abysmal, even though I really did like it when it came out. So any company that, you know, that the CEO make, make, make big mistakes and they then screw over their employees is just bad, bad. You know, they don't care about their employees. Obviously, they're cannon fodder. They can be uh eliminated and whatnot at least nintendo does some things right next up we have even more companies firing their employees microsoft has initiating a layoff as big as 1900 employees all of these employees are of their gaming division so that means xbox bethesda and you know zenimax activision blizzard king you know, since they did the acquisition, so getting rid of 1,900 employees. This constitutes a roughly approximately 8% of Microsoft's gaming's total division. And they had around 22,000 employees, and then they laid off 1,900. An internal memo from Microsoft Gaming CEO Phil Spencer confirmed the, jo the job cuts, outlining the company's commitment to aligning strategies and executing plans with a sustainable cost structure for the merged entities. The memo that Phil Spencer did states, a part of this process, we have made the painful decision to reduce the size of our gaming workforce by approximately 1,900 roles out of the 22,000 people on our team. Despite all this challenge, Spencer expressed confidence that the team's ability to continue investing in areas that contribute to the company's strategy and expanding its gaming business and bringing more games to a global audience. Now, like I, I think I mentioned it before, you know, these are giant companies merging, so it's normal for them to, you know, downsize and cut what it needs to be. The important part is that Matt, the CEO of Blizzard, I forgot his name, Matt something, he's gone. That's the best thing ever. And obviously unfortunate for the employees that all lost their jobs. You know, not just Microsoft or Riot, but Google, Facebook, all of them. Continuing with Microsoft, Blizzard Entertainment disclosed the cancellation of its undisclosed survival game MMO known as Odyssey. The project was unveiled way back in 2022 on January 25th. Uh, Odyssey aimed to be Blizzard's first entirely new intellectual property the last one being Overwatch in 2016. It will also be the second MMO released under the studio and the first one to be released under the Microsoft banner. Although specific details about the project were limited, the initial press release indicated that it was intended for both PC and console platforms. And in late 2022, 
Dan Hay, that he was known for his work in Far Cry, was appointed as the general manager. So a bunch of this stuff, I guess. I mean, they they canceled it. They it was announced, but I guess this all has to do with the merger and. I believe some of the stuff that was implemented in this game made its way over to Overwatch 2. So not everything in the game was entirely lost, but obviously this is sad news for people that were uh, looking forward for Odyssey. Now we go into some sad news. Nintendo has officially stated that April 8th will be the last day will you be able to enjoy your Nintendo 3DS and your Nintendo Wii U online to play with other people around the world. Uh, Nintendo had previously said that they were going to conclude the services in early April 2024, but they never specified when until now. They left a message on Twitter that reads, as of April 8th, online play and other functionality that uses online communication will end service for Nintendo 3DS and Wii U. Thank you very much for your continued support of our products. I loved the Nintendo 3DS and I loved the Wii U even though it was very underrated. They had great games. The Nintendo 3DS had amazing first party games. It was really one of my favorite consoles that Nintendo ever put out. It's sad to see that they're shutting it down just like they shut down the eShop uh, last year I believe. But like always, there is a dedicated community out there to preserving and keeping these things alive. So there's probably going to be someone out there that will have some local servers for the Nintendo 3DS and Wii U where you'll be able to continue playing your games to your heart's content. And finally, in the rumor department, there have been rumors going around that the Nintendo Switch 2, Switch Pro, whatever you want to call it, Nintendo's next console will have a 8-inch LCD screen. Bloomberg references Omdia analyst Hiroshi Hayase. He's a specialist in the display market who revealed in the report that the yet to be announced successor will be equipped with an 8 inch LCD display. Now, obviously, this is a downgrade and an upgrade because if you compare it to the original Nintendo Switch, that one launched with a 6.2 screen. So it's a bigger screen, but we're still having an LCD. But it's not OLED like the Nintendo Switch OLED, but it's still bigger than the OLED version, which is at 7 inches. So I guess you lose, you you win some, you lose some. But if you think about it, they'll probably release an OLED version more down the road, obviously to make more money. But that's the latest rumor of the Nintendo Switch. And hopefully they'll announce it in February in the Nintendo Direct. Fingers crossed. So yeah, that's all the news that we have for this week. I hope you guys enjoyed. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Leave a comment, whatever, and I'll catch you in the next one. Bye.